Hello guys, this is a easy problem from late code uh, 1570 that is we need to find the dot product of two sparse vectors. So uh, here uh, basically dot product is like uh, 1 multiplied by 0, 0 multiplied by 3, uh, 0 multiplied by 0, 2 multiplied by 4 and 3 multiplied by 0. So here we, what we can do is we can just take a for loop and then uh, try to store this sparse vector. Uh, in a uh, single dimensional array but uh, since sparse vector is something as a vector that contains mostly zero values uh, so it will be like inefficient to store a sparse vector as a one dimensional array right so what you can do is instead of storing a, a sparse vector in a single dimensional array and then we try to iterate over each and every uh, every uh, element at, at a particular index what we can do is we can try to efficiently manage the space by storing the uh, index of the uh, non-zero values only. So suppose it has some uh, 95 uh, zero values and then only 5 non-zero values then we uh, it will be simply like something suppose we have 95 zeros and then 5 ones so it will be storing a uh, uh, so if we store only the non-zero values then it will be like only 5 amount of space is needed. Now uh, we need, we can ignore all these 95 uh, zeros. So the next question is how to store all these uh, non-zero values. So for that basically we can take uh, uh, yeah. we can choose from uh, two options that is uh, a list uh, list of index value pairs index and value pairs and it will be a list uh, and Another one is basically a hash it. So in this approach, uh, in this uh, video, let us uh, 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 like throw some light on this hash it approach. So uh, let us look at this approach, whatever uh, uh, only approach I have uh, understood. So here uh, we need to uh, consider a hash it and we need to store uh, the index to value pairs. So, uh, so 0 is the uh, so in the in, in the in the first array uh, let us see so this is the 0th index 1 2 3 4 uh, in the 0th index it is a uh, value 1 so we have put that in the third index it is value 2 and the fourth index it is value 3 so for the second has set uh, also we can consider uh, for the first index it is 3 and for the third index it, index it is 4 so now our only thing left is to find out if any of the index in the first hash it is already present is also there in the second asset so here 0 is there in this asset or not 0 is not there 3 is there so we can multiply uh, we can keep a, a sum a sum variable and we can multiply 2 into 4 then uh, 4 is there or not no 4 is also not there so our output will be 8 so this is the simple approach using uh, two hash sets thank you we, you can uh, find the code in the next part. But